topic is how to resect the large bladder tumor. Now, uh, I'm not going to show a video because I want uh, the trainees who are logged into this to focus on the basic principles of it. Uh, because they, that all the videos so far, you have seen the technique of resection itself. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, it is moving now. Uh, the large bladder tumors always comes with a huge problem that it is very nervous. As uh, Jitain nicely put it, you have uh, so much of tumor, you are worried about the resection, the time and everything. So the tumor size matters. It's also possible that the tumor will have areas which are low grade and other areas which are high grade. If you have just taken a biopsy of it, you may potentially miss uh, the high grade tumor and may go on to treat the patient as a low grade disease. So it is essential that uh, we resect these tumors to the full length of it. When you look at uh, the prediction of muscle invasion, as the size increases, the uh, probability of uh, muscle invasion also increases. Uh, so tumor size is a very high predictor of uh, high grade disease. And that's why in the EORTC e risk table, more than three centimeters has an important uh, point to score when it comes to uh, recurrence and progression. Now, uh, how to uh, get uh, going with the resection? A good scan. I prefer a CT scan. I haven't gone into the uh, MRI for uh, bladders as yet. I still have only CTs as my baseline. Um, and then you plan it out where it is going to be done. For sure, you want to do this uh, resection yourself or one of your senior registrars to do. Uh, it is not the first time as to do uh, resection for these patients. Okay, so what are the kit? What are the what are the things? What what are the principle behind it? If you could do a thorough resection, give a macroscopically clear disease, and the whole specimen is a T1, there is a potential chance of this patient having a long-term recurrence-free survival and could be easily treated with conservative means such as BCG. It is an essential component of uh, getting a macroscopic R0 resection because if you get a T0 disease in cystectomy, the patient has a better long-term survival. So maximal TRBT is my principle. Uh, I do not believe in just going and taking a biopsy and coming out. I go and thoroughly resect it down. Last point is a patient may choose to have a bladder preserving protocol, in which case the TRBT is an essential component of it. And of course, palliative resection when you want to control hematuria as well. So what are the important things? Having a mental map as what you're going to do is the most important thing. Have adequate loops. You cannot start the resection and suddenly the nurse tells you, oh, the loop is broken. I need to go and find another one. A good video system, um, a HD stack, a stack is very essential. You should understand that you, your skills and the limitation, especially I'm telling this for people who are beginning the practice as a consultant. Uh, you have to be aware of the complications much early on so that you don't run into deep trouble as the days goes by. Now, I would suggest that all beginners have a senior urologist who will be available when to come into the theater complex if there is a problem for them. Um, and make sure that skill that you have learned is uh, taught to the next generation as well. Uh, for, the, for the juniors who are seeing me, the technique is that think of a tumor as a ball. Always chop the ball as, as a bush. Uh, always chop the bush from top to bottom. Don't go down to the bottom and start scraping because this bush will fall on the loop and you are completely be clear. Uh, your vision will be completely stopped and in which case the bleeding will be there and you will be in a deep mess. Also see the depth of the loop behind the, uh, the tumor. If you are not able to see it, do the first bit and then, you know, cut it down before you start going into the further uh, uh, tumor of it. Um, do one string after other string. On completion of one plane, go to the deeper plane. Don't go down one lot and allow the bush to fall on you. Resect the unhealthy tissue, tissue till you reach a healthy tissue as you could see. You should see mu muscle there. And I use um, a rollerball coagulator. I do not like uh, the loop itself as a coagulating tool because I believe it can potentially harm the bladder. Um, now, uh, what tips I, I will give is I give I use a continuous irrigation in the downward in the outward uh, thing. I attach a suction or at least take a long piece of uh, 
the suction tube and put it inside the bucket where I'm resecting. That keeps the bladder reasonably empty for you to work along. And remember, as Jitain said very nicely, the curve of the bladder matters. If you are not having that understanding of the curve, all of a sudden you have made a deep cut and deep through it. Um, and then make sure uh, you finish one tumor before you jump into the other one. Don't go haphazard in your, uh, in your resection technique. Uh, resection of the uh, bladder dome and anterior wall uh, can be facilitated by suprapubic pressure as Jitain beautifully put it. Uh, after completing one resection, go to the next one, coagulate it, make sure you're happy and go to the next one. It is okay for you to come and have a second session of resection. It is not heroic to just do all in one go and suddenly find that you are in deep trouble there. Um, the bladder is a moving target. So my advice to the juniors is that keep the bladder almost half to three-fourths distended. Do not have a full distended bladder. Once you start, start to see the muscle fiber stretching out, it means your bladder is becoming thin there. How much time to resect? Um, longer you resect, more complication you get. That's also the reason I said of two things. One, have a senior in attendance. And the second thing is, it's okay to call it a day, come back another day and do the job again. That's why I say it's, a, it's okay to be a staged resection as well. Why does it matter? Because large bladder tumors uh, is important that you do a thorough TRBT. You will not know which part of the tumor has muscle invasion. I believe in macroscopically clear resections because a macroscopically clear resection, if shows muscle invasion, can go on to have other treatment. But if it doesn't show, the patient can preserve the bladder. You have the opportunity to preserve the bladder for these patients as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raghavan. Uh, just one word. You had uh, you recommend mowing the bush, as you said it, from top go downwards. In a fairly large tumor, if it's vascular and it's bleeding, how do you approach the bleeding? We have resected maybe just one layer and it starts bleeding profusely. How do you get to the bleeder there? Uh, sir, sometimes uh, you have to resect more to get to the bleeder. Especially if you're in a thick bladder tumor, you may have to resect down to reach the bladder tumor. My technique is that if you think of it, if you think of a bush and you, you start resecting and you start going deep, the bush will fall on you. So if the bleeding is very prominent, you may have to change to a, a rollerball coagulation and rollerball it. Just keep the rollerball on top of the tumor and coagulate, say, for 30 seconds. The bleeding will stop and give it back to you. And then you can proceed with resection. So Thank two, you. One, sit down and find the bleeder or use a rollerball and arrest the bleeder and move forward. Okay. Thank you. Thank